uh, I'll cover the topic of how to assemble an FM aerial. In this case here, it's an omnidirectional um, folded dipole uh, aerial. Um, it, it, as you can see here, it effectively it comes fully assembled. We have the folded dipole here, and uh, we have the connection that will, which will allow us to connect in the, the satellite cable here, or the standard, uh, and also say an arm and a bracket for attaching onto a pole. So in terms of materials, we have this and we have a length of satellite cable. In terms of tools, once again, it's very simple. We have a set of snips, a 10 millimeter socket, and also is a, um, a flathead screwdriver. So the first thing I do is I simply remove the cap off the, um, off the area and I slide this cap down onto the satellite cable and the satellite cable has already been pared down. Um, we have a separate video on how to pare down cables but it's very simple. What we want is we want to have the core and the earth wire uh, separate from each other and because of the design of this bracket thing here normally we're going to cut down maybe about 40 millimeters of that uh, cable. So the first thing I do normally is I try to attach the uh, the, the earth wire first because it's the trickiest to get in to position. Okay. I've successfully inserted it there. Once I have it in, I immediately tighten it in simply to lock it into position. Okay? So that's locked into position. The next step in the process is to attach the core wire. This is slightly easier, although any part of this can prove to be slightly tricky. Now, that part of the process is more or less complete. I come along and I tighten that into position. And I get my snips and I simply cut off the excess cable here. And I, you can see here now, and the key to this is that the core wire and the earth wire are not touching each other. So I come along and I slide back on the capping here. Do it in this manner, and I simply clip it on so it becomes watertight. And now we have effectively a fully assembled FM area, which you can see took less than probably a minute. Um, the next step to do is to come along and put this aerial on a pole. Because this is an omnidirectional aerial, it can pick up from any direction. So in terms of um, pointing in the right direction, it's sort of not, not an issue because it will successfully pick up from every direction because of the design of the aerial. So what we do now is we simply slide the aerial down into position. I pick up my 10 millimeter socket here, which I'm going to use uh, for attaching this onto the pole. Now, sometimes people will actually um, uh, put this area into an attic where it will work quite well, but the general rule of thumb is uh, when considering to put an area in an attic or outdoors, um, you're losing about 50% of the signal by having it in the attic. So, you know, if you're in a very marginal area and you just need slight boots, working in the attic will probably work okay, but um, in general, it's always going to work better for you outside. So this is it, this is the aerial fully assembled and in position. Just run this cable down and you can shove this aerial um, into a splitter, run it to a number of um, radios around the house or you can simply put a, whatever type of connector is required for your aerial and run it directly into your stereo. And um, that's it, 100% complete, beginning to end, uh, assembly and installation of an omnidirectional FM aerial.